how do I know that my wastegate valve is a problem? And I, I really, really don't. This is a spring-loaded diaphragm here. And I watched Kent Bergsma on MercedesSource.com, and he was able to flex that quite easily just by pushing down on it. And as I push down, I'm pushing down with my thumb, and I'm pushing hard, and I really, really am not able to compress that, which means my wastegate is apparently in the um, closed position all the time, which means I'm constantly um, over boosted, which probably then means the, the uh, manifold sensor that detects pressure in the intake manifold is telling my ALDA valve to back off, restrict diesel fuel flow to the fuel injectors, which it most likely explains why my Mercedes runs like a dog. So the plan is to see if I can adjust this and get this down to where it will flex at somewhere around 11 pounds per square inch of, of pressure, and, and then I should be back in business. Right now you can see I cannot flex that with one thumb. If I put the camera down and squeeze on both sides with my thumbs, I can flex it. Upon further examination, I can see that that shaft underneath that lock nut has flat surfaces on both sides, so clearly I just have to anchor that first, secure that. Oddly, the shaft itself appeared to be a, a 13 millimeter to secure that shaft. Come on, light, come back on. And up above, I used a one half inch on here. It was hard going, but I broke it free. So now I have loosened that. Don't know what happened to my camera. I'm assuming that there is a, uh, a pretty strong spring below this diaphragm. Don't know for sure. I'm going to start backing off on this not here again that was 13 millimeter and um, I'm going to go maybe half a turn a time the shaft is not turning the nut is of course now everything is turning let me lock this in with my arm I can feel the spring in there so I'm I'm afraid I'm going to tear something if I just keep doing that so after I received the instruction manual from Mercedes source showing how to take apart the wastegate. I felt more comfortable doing that. I have taken this backing plate off here to expose the wastegate, wastegate valve here. Um, inside the wastegate itself is extremely straightforward so I, I won't put it back together again to show you what I did but locking nut and then you can uh, you can turn this in or out in order to increase or decrease the strength of the spring behind this backing plate which then determines when the wastegate will open. I'm going to put the camera down and see if you can see me trying to do this. I want you to see how hard it is for me to to depress that wastegate the way it is right now. So, so I'm just going to show you I have to take two thumbs and push hard. I'm, and that's that's not easy for me to do. I cannot do it with one thumb at all. I have to push hard and it sure feels to me like that is requiring a lot more than 11 PSI, which is what it is supposed to take to open the wastegate when this is set up properly. Um, and now I want to show you uh, um, uh, a system I've rigged up to bench test um, when the um, wastegate is opening. So this is the wastegate hose that ordinarily connects between the um, pressure side of the, or excuse me, the intake side of the turbocharger. It connects here and, it, and then it pressurizes the wastegate here. I have taken this end and I have inserted in it a spray nozzle from my, um, from my air compressor. Uh, I've got that clamped in there and I'm going to connect this to a a pressurized uh, air can that I'm going to set at 20 PSI um, and then I'm going to come back over here and watch at the back of the wastegate to see if the valve activates 
when I pressurize that line and then I can adjust the pressure in the tank to find out whether or not this is activating at 11 psi like it's supposed to. I'm going to shoot this all over again because I'm afraid that I was on pause. So I am here at, um, what can you see, can you see, um, a little over 20 psi and I'm going to activate this uh, valve here, the spray nozzle, charge the line and watch the wastegate back here um, and I think I can do that hold this with one hand activate this with the other hand and this is at a little over 20 psi here we go wide open very nice very nice but what I'm finding is that if, if I let the pressure go down if I keep this open and let the pressure drop off it opens less and less and less as you would expect the question is what does it do when the pressure gets down close to 11 psi and right now in the tank we are at still over 15 so let me run some pressure out of it closer to 11 right there I come up here at 11 psi and it's just barely cracking open I don't even know if you can see that just barely cracking open. So um, what I want to avoid is putting this back on the car and pressure testing it while it's on the car uh, because for the life of me I don't know how I would get that darn spring back in here on the wastegate uh, while this is in the car. Um, I suppose it can be done, people do it, but I sure want to avoid it if I can. Last thing I would like you to see is when I took the backing plate off this wastegate, uh, there was a, some form of a baffle here uh, that sits in here between uh, the opening and the backing plate. And as you can see, that has a very bad rupture or tear in it. Um, and I, I, I can't see, I can't see how that would affect the pressure, um, the, the wastegate valve opening or closing, but it certainly isn't a good thing and I'm going to have to contact Mercedes Source and see if I can find a replacement part for that.